Welcome back to part three, part four, part something of the LS Swap S10. So we left off last time, we got the old junk out and I was gonna do some cleaning and then come back and was gonna start throwing stuff back together. So let me flip this around. So here's where we're at. Um, I did pull the truck outside, pressure wash the whole bay down there, got rid of the old engine mounts, uh, the old motor mounts and Man, that thing was absolutely caked with just old grease and mud and crud. And Anyway, we uh, power washed everything with some degreaser. So it was caked with all kinds of stuff, but we got most of that cleaned up with a, a very stiff brush and then a wire brush. <clears throat> and I got all that broken down to um, either the what was left of the original coating and bare metal. Uh, from there, I threw on some self-etching primer followed up with some um, rust reformer and then I threw on some engine enamel with ceramic put a few coats of each of those on and I think it came out looking pretty good yeah I mean we, we went about halfway back under the cab not real far I'll do the rest whenever we refurb the back but uh, so the plan for this episode or this part is we're going to put on the Hooker Blackheart um, Slim cover, uh, blower cover, whatever you want to call that. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? I don't know. Where's the instructions? Yeah, the AC cover. <clears throat> We're going to throw that on. What that basically does, that's just going to give us a little more clearance uh, because as you may know, there's it, it's, it's very tight fit. With an LS and one of these uh, one of these S10s. Uh, also, just so you know, the system because a lot of the the mount systems, the swap systems that, that you can get with these, whether it's the eBay's or the current performance or <clears throat> what have you, uh, a lot of times they work best with similar or like branded products. So I am pretty much completely doing the Holly uh, or Hooker Blackheart system. Uh, we got the motor mounts, we got the uh, AC cover, what else I got, uh, the transmission cross member, uh, the steering shaft, which we'll replace that with, gives more clearance on the uh, driver's side, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but yeah, I'm using a whole lot of holly parts on this build, oh, uh, and the motor mounts, the black art motor mounts uh, that are used in this swap conversion here uh, needs to use the uh, Holly 302-1 oil pan <clears throat> no cutting required of the cross member which is nice I did not want to have to cut anything I wanted this to be a, uh, a bolt-in deal uh, and that this this system uh, assures that that's not going to happen we'll talk about the accessories and the radiator cooling stuff when we get to that point but there's some changes there as well uh, I'm aware that you can buy some cheap eBay mounts and do this whole thing on the cheap but it also I mean let's be honest it, it takes a little more work uh, and I'm looking for more fit and finish um, when this project's completely done and I think that the route I'm going will, will give me that so alright <clears throat> I don't know where I left off but the purpose of this video is we're gonna we're gonna get that AC cover installed <clears throat> get the uh, the head's assembled. I have a trunnion kit to put in the rockers. Uh, i got to clean up the valves. So I'd like to get the heads assembled and um, bolt it up. What else? What else? Get the motor mounts on. Um, so the Blackheart motor mounts, the, the plates that mount to the engine, that's, that's straightforward. Just, just bolts on. But this down here uses an F-body mount. Uh, the kind of clamshell mount with the uh, poly in the middle. Um, there is one hole on both sides here that needs to be tapped. Uh, it, there's already a hole, luckily, but there's no threads. So we will have to tap that hole so that can be uh, bolted up. What else? I think that's it. So uh, I rambled on for a little bit there, but let's go ahead and get busy. I think we will start with uh, the AC box.
right, so the AC box is in. It was kind of a pain, um, sort of had to do at the beginning in case you were wondering why the hacksaw was out. Uh, with the, what is it, 96 to 04, I have to look at the instructions again. But either way, um, there's tabs up here, right here, and then two on the bottom that you have to trim off flush for this to, for this to uh, mount up. Uh, so I was cutting those off. Uh, one word of advice, actually two, a few words of advice if you uh, use this same cover. Put the uh, put this sensor in outside of the vehicle. Uh, the last, the third screw back there in the back is very difficult to get to when it's already bolted in. Secondly, the seal that you have to run along the firewall and then around the box, it's very finicky. Uh, you can stretch it, you can flatten it out. It doesn't stick very well to the plastic, but it does stick to, let me rephrase that, it doesn't stick very well to the new plastic, but it did stick easily enough to the firewall and to the old box, or the, the, the factory, the, the other side of the AC box. It fit good there. All right, next up, we are going to tap the holes for the motor mounts. I actually went ahead and did the three holes for the passenger side. Uh, so these are done. So these mounts, they have little notches, the, the black heart mounts, they have notches for front. So like this one here is for this side. Uh, luckily, on this side, I only have to tap this hole and this hole. The passenger side, I had to tap all three. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, I don't have it bolted in yet, but we'll get that done in a second. So let's put this camera back up, tap these two holes out, get those bolted in, and that's just one more step done. Mounts are in, they went in nice and easy. One thing to note, if your steering shaft is still in, I had trouble with my tap handle hitting uh, as I was going around. So it's, it's the Harbor Freight Special, so if you have the same kit, you may have the same problem. It's not a big deal, just something to be aware of. Uh, other than that, they thread in really well, they go in very nicely. I have nothing to say about the mounts. Uh, other than you have to tap all three holes on the passenger side and two holes on the driver's side. At least for the 2.2 liter um, S10, which this is a 2003. So you may or may not do the same thing. Uh, but all right, so on to the next project. Um, we will do the... We'll do the trunnion upgrade in the rockers, get the valves cleaned up, relap the, uh, re the valves, and get the heads assembled on the engine. I mean, once we hit that point, theoretically, I can go ahead and drop the engine in. Like I said, I don't know if I've said it, actually. I don't know if I've said it or not, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to shoehorn it in there or not, at least easily. So I'm still debating if I'm going to put the engine in there and then do the transmission from the bottom. I'm not 100% sure yet. That is still being decided, but I am for sure going to at least test fit the engine to see if I can put it in with both headers on, or if I can only do one. If I can only do one, I hope I can do the passenger side because there's zero room there. Once the steering shaft comes out, I'll have a little more space so I can put a driver's side header on if needed. I'm hoping I can put it in with both, but I'm going off on a tangent. Let's get the uh, trunnion upgrade done to the rockers on this side of the shop and go from there. Boom. So I skipped a little bit. Um, turns out I had a little bit more to do than I realized and I got tired of messing with the camera. And in all honesty, I mean, it wasn't anything that, that pretty much any of you have not seen before as far as, you know, the trunnion upgrade install, uh, assembling the heads, all that stuff. Um, valve covers, intake, all that stuff's just setting on here. I just wanted to get a look and see 
and see how it all looked together. And I tell you what, it looks pretty fantastic, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm aware that these sheet metal intakes don't perform as well as, say, the stock truck intake, but I'll be honest, I don't like the look, and I want it to look good. So I'm using that intake. Um, it is a uh, Holley Sniper EFI intake with the 92 millimeter throttle body. Uh, ICT valley cover plate there. Um, this was the Gen 3, but I'm not going to be running the knock sensors because, again, I like the look of that plate better than uh, the big old black knock sensors that sit in the center. Um, Holley valve covers. We're going to be running the Holley Blackheart mid length tube uh, swap headers. They look very nice. Again, I just got a couple bolts in there. I've actually still got to get some, the, I got four broken studs, two in each head that I've still got to get out, but uh, I'm getting ready to do that now. But I know the goal of this video, which has spanned the course of three to four days now, because uh, I can only work a little bit here, here and there between work, you know how it goes. I think I'm gonna end the video here uh, and then pick it right back up going into basically the install. Uh, transmissions there. Engine there, we're gonna put it there. I still need to switch out the steering shaft. I do have the Holly Blackheart or Hooker Blackheart uh, S10 swap steering shaft. That'll make that fit a little bit nicer. Uh, I do gotta get put that in. I'm pretty new that off camera. I mean, that's, that's not really exciting to watch, but I don't know. Anyway, so I think what I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna get these studs out and pick it back up with installing, or let me rephrase that, mating the transmission to the engine and getting it in the truck. Uh, I gotta take this stuff off. It's, like I said, it's just sitting there. But uh, like I said, if you like the video, hit the like button below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, we're gonna be finishing the LS Swap S10 soon. I think we got quite a bit done in a very short amount of time. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the first fire. And then we'll, uh, I don't know, probably throw some suspension on there. Maybe, well, obviously we got to repaint the, uh, the top. For sure, the clear coat's gone. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, clear coat's gone up there, so we got to repaint that. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode. So, till next time.